I'm Staff Sergeant Farrier, and this is the One Rope Bridge. Understand that there are many ways to tie the One Rope Bridge, but this is how we tie it at the Jungle Operations Training Course. The materials you'll need for this is 100 foot 9 millimeter Kermantle rope, single back stack, and a waterproof bag, one locking carabiner, and two non locking carabiners. You also need a near side anchor point and a far side anchor point. To start off the one rope bridge, we're gonna figure out our current. For this demonstration, our current is running from left to right. So first things first, I'm gonna grab my bag of rope and my end, I'm gonna place my bag of rope on the left side so I know that's the way the current's running. I'm gonna grab my three carabiners, my one locking carabiner, my two non-locking, and I'm gonna clip them on my belt loops or in my pocket, whichever you feel seat. And then I'm gonna make my way to the far side anchor. Once on the far side anchor, you're gonna tie a double figure eight knot to JOTC standard. Ensuring that it's dressed, no twists, and you have at least a four inch pigtail. Once we've tied our double figure eight, we're gonna to come to our far side anchor. We're gonna find which side's the up current side. For this instance, is the left side the pole. I'm gonna bring my rope around, pinching it off, and finding the circumference of my pole using my finger through the bite of the double figure eight and the standing end, creating one lay. From here, I'm gonna grab four lays, two, three, four. Once I find the end of the fourth lay, I'm gonna lean on it, and I'm only gonna wrap from top to bottom. As I'm wrapping this, I'm gonna ensure that I'm not crossing this rope or creating any knots within the rope, and all these wraps are gonna be stacked nicely around themselves. If I find myself where I'm too short, I can pinch this and twist it to ensure my double figure eight is off my anchor point. You know that you did this right if you have four wraps on the inside and five on the back side. Then I'm gonna grab my locky carabiner, throw it through my double figure eight, and then clip it onto my rope, lock it, and ensure it is secured. And then I'm gonna dress my rope system, all my wraps up, pinching them together, and just give it one little pull so it stays dressed. Once our wraps are dressed and set, we're gonna continuously keep tension on this. We're gonna make our way to the near side embankment. Once at the near side embankment, we're gonna create our transport tightening system. This consists of a slip figure eight and a half hitch. To create this, we're gonna take a bite, create one, two turns, pulling our running end through to create our slip figure eight. Then we're gonna create our half hitch, making a loop and throwing it over our slip figure eight and pulling it tight. Next, I'm gonna take my running end and wrap it around my near side anchor point and bring it back to my transport tightening system and prep my two non-locking carabiners. With the non-locking carabiners, we're gonna to come to our transport tightening system. Our first carabiner is gonna go from sky to ground. Our next carabiner is gonna go from ground to sky. Once in, we're gonna twist them. We're gonna ensure our carabiners are opposite and opposed. To do so, we're gonna make sure our hinges for our gates are on the same side, but our gates are on opposite sides. So when I push these down, we create an X. Next, I'm gonna take my running end, I'm gonna place it from inside to outside. Transport tightening system. Once we've created our transport tightening system, we're gonna go ahead and put tension on the one rope bridge. From here, we gotta create our wraps. We're gonna take our rope and our bag, wrapping around to get three wraps on the back and two on the front. We need to make sure all these wraps are going from top to bottom. Once you have your three wraps and your two wraps in the front, create an 18 inch bite pulling over your two lines. With that 18 inch bite, we're gonna bring our bite over these two ropes. From here, we've created a triangle. 
We're going to take the bite and push it through the triangle, ensuring all our ropes are not twisted and they're staying together. We're going to pull it tight. No twists along here. Next, we're going to come underneath, ensuring our bite is still parallel with each other. We're going to go over. We're going to make sure these four stay in a line as we make these pulls. We're going to slightly pull this bite left and right. Just get it tight. Make sure it stays clean all the way through. Once you've done so, you'll have four ropes in a line, two running across, creating a clove hitch. Once we've checked the clove hitch, we're gonna check our wraps. We're gonna make sure we have three wraps, and they're dressed and set, and they're in a downward motion, going all the way around. On the inside, we'll have two wraps. There will be one line that goes above the other wrap that is okay for that one cross. To check our clove hitch, we're gonna ensure that we have two lines coming in, and they're feeding all the way around, creating a locking bar, and then exiting out. So we'll have a total of four ropes in a line, all being traced with no crosses and exiting same way. Once we've checked our wraps, we're gonna go to our transport tightening system. First things first, we're gonna confirm that our rope is routed from inside to outside. Next, we're gonna go to our non-locking carabiners. We're gonna make sure they're opposite and opposed. So we have our one hinge and our second hinge right here. And we have our gate on the bottom and our gate on top. So we know we're right. Next, we're gonna double check our slip figure eight is correct. We have our half hitch in the right spot. From there, we're gonna move down to our far side anchor. Once on the far side anchor point, we're gonna to come to our wraps and ensure they are set properly. We have four wraps on the inside and five on the back side. For this, we need to make sure our top three ropes are properly dressed. As you can tell, this bottom rope is gonna be sagging a little bit. That is fine, as long as those top three are dressed. Then we're going to come to our figure eight, double figure eight. We're going to ensure that there's no cross or twist and it's tied to Jotsi standard. And we're going to make sure our locking carabiner is locked and secured. In a tactical situation, you have six people to complete this system. For Jotsi standard, this will be an individual test. You'll have eight minutes to complete this test. This is the One Rope Bridge.